Hi, I'm Lars from All About Samsung and today we're gonna have a quick test on some speaking covers for the Samsung Galaxy S8 and S8 Plus. Whenever you spend 800 or 900 bucks for a smartphone, you might be interested in protecting the smartphone from scratches or other damage. Samsung itself says that because of Gorilla Glass 5 found on the front and on the backside of the device, it's less likely to be damaged. Even though, if you check YouTube, we will totally find other results. And if you think that the screen replacement on the Galaxy S7 Edge costs you as much as 250 or more euro, it's quite interesting to actually protect the smartphone. Personally, I prefer sleeves made by Fitback because a sleeve is always a good thing for having a pure designed smartphone without any cover on the smartphone itself. The problem is that in a sleeve, the smartphone is perfectly protected. Whenever you're actually using the smartphone, there's no protection left on the smartphone. So it's more interesting for some people to actually get a cover. And I personally use a cover like this. It's the lens cover on the Galaxy S7 Edge. And there is no lens cover for the Samsung Galaxy S8. So we now check out some speaking cases for the S8 and S8 Plus. For the Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus, we do have the Neo Hybrid case in the color blue. Then we have the air cushion technology featured tough armor case, which is drop tested with a military grade MEL STD Ethernet and 10G standard. Then we have the S8 Plus thin fit cover in the color black. And we have the liquid crystal cover for the S8 Plus. For the normal Galaxy S8, we have the rugged armor case, the liquid crystal case, the liquid air case and the new hybrid case with a dual layered structure for an extra protection. First, we are going to have a closer look on the new hybrid case for the S8 and S8 Plus. And as the name says, it's made out of two materials, which are a TPU cover and there is a hard plastic cover around it. So you actually can disassemble it quite easily just by pushing onto the TPU cover. And then you see there's a hard plastic frame and a TPU cover. And if you assemble both together, you're going to see that this actually makes sense because the TPU cover absorbs shocks while the hard plastic case on the edges is even for harder impacts quite good. On the back side, you see something what speaking calls a herringbone pattern. This is quite good because it's fingerprint resistant, unlike the original backside of the S8 and it delivers quite a good grip. And there is the speaking logo and there is a big cutout for the camera and the fingerprint scanner. And this is what I don't like because on the original cases of the Galaxy S8, you actually have a cutout for the camera and a cutout for the fingerprint scanners. So there is kind of a bridge between the fingerprint scanner and the camera. So whenever you try to tap on the fingerprint scanner, you won't tap on the camera. The fingerprint scanner is quite easy to reach if you have such a case because it's on the total right side of the cutout. Even so, I would maybe prefer the camera separated to the fingerprint scanner. Before we check the S8 in the case, we have to see the case first. And you see the buttons are actually in the TPU cover, so there are no cutouts for the buttons on the S8 itself. And on the inside of the cover, you have a pattern I do know if this creates kind of an air cushion or something in between the cover and the backside of the S8, even though it looks nice, but it just doesn't matter because you won't see it anyway. And on the downside, you see some cutouts for some plugs, which is the 3.5 millimeter jack and the micro USB jack, and of course the speaker. So now we just put the S8 Plus into the cover and now you're gonna see my problem because there was no orchid gray version of the Neo Hybrid case. So I decided to go for the coral blue one and the colors don't fit perfectly. Even so, I personally would say that the covers blend in quite nice. So you have blue on the frame and orchid gray backside on the camera. I think this looks nice. On the gunmetal version, you have gunmetal gray around the device and a black glass side of the S8 fitting to the black TPU case. What is more interesting to see is, of course, the protection for the S8. And here are two things to notice, because the edge itself is not totally covered by the speaking case, so it might get harmed, even though the glass surface itself is covered by the speaking case, because 
on the top level and on the down bottom of the speaking case you see that there is some rubber which stands out over the surface of the glass so whenever you lay down the s8 in the speaking case on the surface you will lay it down on the speaking cover not on the glass or surface of the display I won't do a drop test on the S8 and S8 Plus because I'm not allowed to actually damage the samples I have to send back. But it looks like the Neo Hybrid case delivers quite a good protection when dropping the device. And I think the combination of the TPU cover and the hard plastic case makes sense. And it's quite nice to see that the cutouts on the bottom of the speaking Neo Hybrid case are actually large enough for thicker charging cables like this on made by Anchor, so you won't have to face any problems with thicker cables. The next case is the liquid crystal case for the S8, and it's quite easy to explain. You have a really nicely designed smartphone, but most covers will actually hide the nice design. So the idea of the liquid crystal case is more or less to maintain the design of the S8 and S8 Plus, and therefore you now have a transparent design. So it's totally transparent, it looks more like to be made out of glass or hard plastic, even though it's TPU, so it's quite soft and there are some special things to know because it comes with a lens cleaning wipe and with the lens cleaner wipe you have a wet cleaner to get rid of stains on the inside of the TPU cover and on the back side of the S8 and S8 Plus because you have a dotted design on the inside of the TPU cover it's quite hard to see because there are really really tiny dots on the inside of the TPU cover but they are maintaining the design because you won't have any more watermarks in between the cover and the backside of the S8 and S8 Plus glass backside. So if you apply the TPU cover on the backside of the S8 you won't see any watermarks in between the cover and the glass backside. The rest of the design is quite minimal, so there's just one cutout on the backside for the camera and the fingerprint scanner, so there's no separation in between the both, which I don't like. And on the top level, there is a little logo under the surface of the TPU, which reads Air Cushion Technology. And this is quite interesting, because Air Cushion Technology creates a little air cushion on the edges of the device. Because the edges are normally the spot where the most forces are concentrating on just a single sweet spot and this might cause the display or the backside to crack. So by creating an air cushion in the edges, the forces are spread over a larger place so it's less likely to shatter the device. Again, there are no cutouts for the power button or the volume and Bixby button on the left side. So the TPU cover covers the buttons, but this is not a problem because they're easy to press and still covered. On the left side, you're gonna see a speaking logo right under the surface and on the bottom, you see still good cutouts for the 3.5 millimeter jack, the USB type C interface and the speaker. So still on the liquid crystal case, you can use a thicker charging cable like this without any issue. The next case is the liquid air case and it looks quite similar to just the TPU part of the Neo Hybrid case. If you compare them both together you see that both are just black TPU but with a different pattern. So on the Neo Hybrid case you had a herringbone pattern and on the liquid air case now you have a kind of a honeycomb pattern or something like this. On the inside you see the same pattern as found on several other cases and it comes with the same air cushion technology so there are little spaces in the edges which might prevent the screen from cracking when the device fell in the cover. So now we put the S8 in the liquid air cover and you see it fits quite good and it looks quite minimal. I really do like it because it kind of maintained the same design as found on the S8. So on the back side you have more or less the same shape as on the original S8 back side and on the left side you have the speaking logo in the frame. There are no cutouts for the buttons, so the volume keys and the Bixby button are as well as the power button covered by the liquid air case, which is not bad because it's easy to press it and it's not a big deal. And the screen is covered by the case itself, so whenever you lay it down on a flat surface, the cover will actually prevent the screen from touching the surface itself.
the edges are not totally covered by the liquid air case which is not bad because i really do like the feel of the edges and i think it's a quite a nice minimal cover and with the perfect cutouts on the bottom so you can use thicker cables as well the next case gets a bit tougher because it's the tough armor case for the s8 and rca plus and it comes with a little description i'm gonna tell you later what this is about if you take a closer look to the tough armor case you're gonna see that it's a dual layer design and this is because the backside is made out of hard plastic while the rest of the case around it is made out of tpu and this is because the TPU is kind of shock resistant and shock absorbing while the hard plastic is good for really hard impacts on the backside. So it can resist and withstand extreme impacts on the backside and this delivers quite a good protection. Spigen says it's military grade MEL SCD 810G protected and this is a really good standard for protection. And there is something more, because if you take a look on the back side, you're going to see that there is a speaking logo you can actually pop out. And this is a little kickstand for the Galaxy S8. So if you put the Galaxy S8 in the cover, you actually have a kickstand maybe for watching videos or so. So you can actually put it on the table and watch videos like this. On the inside of the Tough Armor case, you can see that it comes with the same pattern as found on several other cases and with the same air cushion technology in the edges, so it might resist even hard impacts on the edges. In terms of design, you have to say something different, because on the right side you have the Tough Armor case and the buttons are covered differently, because if you put the S8 or SA Plus in the Tough Armor case, you see that there are no cutouts or something for the buttons. And now the buttons are covered totally with the TPU case. And for me personally, it's quite hard to actually feel the difference between the button and the rest of the frame. And this is the same on the left side, even though the Bixby button has a kind of a rough surface, so it's easy to actually feel but it's quite hard to feel a difference between the volume key and the rest of the frame. There is a big cutout for the camera and the fingerprint scanner and it's really easy to actually feel the fingerprint scanner even though I'd prefer a separation between the camera and the fingerprint scanner. The cutouts on the bottom are still perfect so it's quite easy to use a thicker charging cable like this. So all in all I would say this is a really tough case. I'm not allowed to test it in total because I need to send the S8 and I say plus back without any damage but this looks like it delivers quite a good protection for your smartphone. The next case is the Rugged Armor case by speaking for the S8 and I say plus and as you can see I choose it totally for the look because it has a more stylish look than other cases because of the carbon fiber looks on the back so you have two spaces on the back side with a look of carbon fiber even though for the price tag of course this is not real carbon fiber and you have the speaking logo on the back side and on the inside you have the spider web pattern and the air cushion technology so this should deliver quite a good protection for your Galaxy S8 and if you put it right into it it's quite a minimal design, quite similar to maybe the liquid air case and if you turn it around you see a carbon fiber look on your Galaxy S8 and this is for the price tag quite a nice design even so I would say it looks a bit thicker than the liquid air case. The buttons are not cut out so they're just in the frame but easily to actually press and on the bottom you have good cutouts for the 3.5mm jack and the USB type-c interface so you can use a thicker cable. Last but not least, here is the Thinfoot case for the Galaxy S8. And this was for me the most interesting case because I really do like the design of the S8 and normally a cover kind of hides the design. So for me it was interesting to see a, a cover or and a protection for a smartphone without actually hiding the design. The Thinfoot case delivers the bare minimum of a cover. It's made out of polycarbonate and, and the black version it's kind of rubber on it so you have a good grip on it on different colors it's not the case so be careful about this there's a big speaking logo on the back side and on the inside you won't see a pattern because it's not a tpu case so there's no air cushion technology in the edges it's just a polycarbonate cover you can actually use the magnetic mount 
but I won't do this now and just apply it on the Galaxy Z Plus and you see it fits perfectly fine in it. You have just one cutout for the camera and the fingerprint scanner, but there are several other cutouts now for the power button and for the volume button and the Bixby button. And by using just one cutout for the volume and the Bixby button, you see quite a lot of the edge. So this kind of maintains the design of the edge. The edge itself is not totally covered by the case, even so, it's covered a bit and the glass itself is covered by the bottom and the top of the case. So if you lay it down on a surface, it just lays down on the cover itself because it sticks a bit out over the display surface. In the corner of the thinfoot case you see something I don't, I'm not sure about because there are little cutouts. They might be because of the production progress to get the smartphone in the case or they deliver a bit of a shock resistance. I'm not sure but it's not that bad. On the bottom you see perfect cutouts for the 3.5mm jack and for the USB Type-C interface you, so you can use thicker cables as well. And yeah, all in all, I would say this is a bare minimum of a cover and it maintains the design of the device quite good. So this was our review of the speaking covers for the Samsung Galaxy Z and S8+. Plus. Unfortunately, I wasn't allowed to actually drop test the samples of the S8 in the speaking covers. Too bad, but for my Galaxy S8 or S8+, Plus, I would consider to use the ThinFit case because for me personally, this is a case maintaining the design of the devices. And the other cases, of course, are quite interesting as well. I hope you liked the review. If you have any questions regarding the cases or, of course, the Galaxy S8, just let me know below in the comments. If the English wasn't too bad at all, feel free to give this video a thumbs up and to follow the channel. I'm Lars. See you next time. Bye.